Hearthstone has about 500 different legendaries, and most of those are pretty garbage, so you can disenchant them. But there should be something like a guide out there that tells you for every single class, for all the legendaries in there, which cards should you keep, where do you use those cards, and for that, this is the video. I will go through every single class, starting with the lowest cost legendary up to the highest, giving you my thoughts on if you should keep the card, where you can use that card and what style of deck, and ultimately, if the card is good or not. I've been playing the game for roughly 6 years, I've used all those cards in here, so I think I have a decent understanding of which card to keep and which to disenchant. You can see the timestamps, they're also in the description down below, in the pinned comment, and just feel free to to skip around to each and every single class, and then go to the cards that you personally have. Now that we have the core set introduced in the game, we get a couple of legendaries that are in the legacy set for free. For example, Blood Mage over here. The card is in the game if you own the card, but it's also free as part of the core set. You could technically disenchant the card that you do own, because you have the free version of the core set anyways, but next year when we get a different core set in Hearthstone, the card is not going to be in your collection anymore. So for every card that is freely available in the core set anyways, you could disenchant all the other copies of the card that you do own, just keep in mind that in one year from now, you might not own the card anymore if you only have the card in the core set. Also don't forget, because some of the cards in here are uncraftable and part of the core set or you just got them for free with the class, I will not talk about them because you can't even disenchant them. It wouldn't make any sense including those cards in a disenchanting guide if you can't even disenchant them. Also quick disclaimer, if you happen to get legendaries in Forge of the Barons that you're not sure about if you should keep them or not, I have a video about that exact expansion right here. I go more in detail over there. There are achievements in this game that do give you Tavern Pass XP or give you gold translated later on. Get the achievements first if you really want to and then enchant the card if it's really bad. And now, here's the video. Starting with Demon Hunter. And because I'm not too sure about every single card being in a core set, being free like this card for example or not, sometimes I will misclick, just so you know. Starting with Ace Hunter Kryn. So this card in Skolomancy has been fairly useless. Even though all your other characters are immune, this card really doesn't do much. I would say so far, even though it's for Hunter as well as Demon Hunter, by the way, we might repeat dual class cards, this card is pretty useless so far. This doesn't do anything. Ilganoth is only used in a single OTK deck, so if you like the idea of OTK Demon Hunter, this card is good. Outside of that one specific OTK deck, which I think is still really good in Standard and Wild it doesn't see play, this card is pretty bad. So if you like the OTK, keep it, if not, disenchant that. Kane, the idea is really good, not just having a charge card, but also ignoring Taunt. Technically, it could be a staple in future Demon Hunter decks. At the moment though, I don't see it anywhere. So as of right now, you could disenchant it, but if you happen to play maybe wild and there are a bunch of taunt minions, this card might make sense. But so far, I don't see the card anywhere. This could also be dust. Curtis. I've been trying this card for the past couple days. I've been also getting all the achievements and there's one achievement to destroy minions with Curtis. Keep the card so far. It's pretty good. It's like a fireball or like a frostbolt on two minions or fireball split on you know what I mean. In most cases though, it doesn't really help you too much. If you play an OTK like Ilganoth, all you want to do is draw the card as fast as possible. This just removes stuffs. So as a removal card in Demon Hunter, it's alright. Not necessary for anything though. Star Student Selina has been fairly useless. Pretty useless card. It's funny though. If you play the game just for fun, keep the card. It, Honestly, if your opponent plays a Reno deck, or like any deck where they keep a specific card in their hand for a long time, and you just play Selena and you're like, no, this card is pretty funny, but it's not good. It is not good. You can safely disenchant her. Metamorphosis, when it dealt 5 damage in its initial stage, this card was really good. At 4 damage, this is, is pretty slow. You spend 7 mana to deal 8 damage. That is just not good. So I would say you can disenchant that. For Zay, gotta say this is one of the worst legendaries ever. Technically, it's value, but you don't need value in Demon Hunter. I think if you play a slow Demon Hunter deck, or that is a style that you would like to play, keep it. But no, for most decks this card is pretty bad. I've been also trying Death Speaker Blackthorn recently. The card is alright, and I think if they push a slow version of Demon Hunter in this expansion, we might see more in the next couple expansions, so I would keep this card. Also, when you play this, you can get 15 mana for free with the cards that you summon. This has been pretty good. However, the only Demon Hunter decks that you really see are really aggressive and no control Demon Hunter decks. So it's alright for the future, probably a lot better than right now. I would keep it though, wouldn't disenchant that yet. You can also play the Soul Fragment Demon Hunter. That is an alright deck because you do have some synergy cards, both in Warlock and in Demon Hunter. And for that, at least for standard, I would keep that. In most cases though, this isn't too good. This doesn't do that much. At least in Wild, this card doesn't see play. In standard, might be an arc that people would like to try out. And lastly, this card is free. I think I will cut out all the cards that are uncraftable anyways. 
Floops Glories Galoop. If you play something like Linecracker, where you need this card for, so the 2500 armor druid, you play one minion, make it really, really big, and then you gain a bunch of armor. That's kind of the idea. That's, by the way, the entire deck. You do nothing else. This card is useful. If you play a York Druid, where you want to draw your entire deck, this card is useful because you play Auctioneer. This is a spell. Something dies. You draw more cards. All of that. This card is good. Outside of those two specific decks, York Druid for memes and Line Cooker Druid for memes, this card is useless. So you can disenchant that. Jungle Giants is one of the worst quests ever made. Barnabas is pretty slow. Card doesn't do much. So far, for the past five years, four or five years, you can disenchant these cards. It's fun to play though. Untapped potential as well. If you were to play something like a Jade Druid in Wild, you would just play a single Jade Idol and just draw your entire deck. That's a lot more efficient than trying to get the effect of Jade Idol, so you shuffle and summon something over and over. Also, the effect itself from this quest just doesn't make Druid good. When you play Druid, you play a token Druid, so you play Hyper Aggressive, or you play an LTK. And for that, this card doesn't help with that. So, if you like the idea of having you choose one card effects, having both effects combined, keep it, but you don't need it for anything. Same with Keeper Stellar Dress. This card is really not good. It is really not good. Maybe two years ago it was alright in standard, with the quest combined, but by itself, this card doesn't do much. Uh, this card as well. This card is pretty bad. Gotta say, I like the idea of Prime cards, so you play a normal minion at the moment, and then later on you get something bigger. Thing is though, this really doesn't do anything. Think about it this way. If you play a Legendary and you spend 10 mana on this card right here, what actually happens? You get 18, 18 in stats and might destroy a minion. Is that worth 10 mana? If you can play Ultimate Infestation or you can just play Yawk or anything else? Not so much. So for this card, if you like it, keep it, but you don't need that. Gav Rune Totem. Card is fairly new. I think in a spell heavy token druid, this card makes sense. But as of now, I've not seen a single person playing this. I tried to make this card work, and the problem was, the moment you cast all your spells, your hand is empty. So this is basically Edwin Van Cleef, but instead of Edwin getting the stats on himself, you give it to a different minion on your bot. Card is alright, but not broken so far. I would still keep it for at least like a week or two or so. Shando. If you like Beast Druid, keep that, but Beast Druid is terrible. I would disenchant that. Also for Hunter, I've seen a couple people playing this, but it really doesn't do much. If you want to buff your entire deck, then play Kalasath instead of this. This is, this is not good. Ghidra. This card is alright, gotta say. When somebody plays Ghidra into a spell, I am fairly sure that the card usually does end up well. For example, you play a 2 mana spell, cast a 2 mana spell, you have a 3 mana, 3-6 three, rush, and you have the spell. So that's pretty good. However, you don't see this card at all. If you happen to play Shaman, at least in Wild, it's Murloc Shaman or it's even Shaman. This card is odd cost. You don't see that. I would still think the potential of this Legendary is higher than any of those in here, but I'm not sure if you should keep that at all. Let's say it doesn't hurt to keep it, but you can disenchant that. Loti. Technically, pretty good, right? You have four different things to choose from. Thing is though, that doesn't really do much. You would rather play a spell than playing Loti. A couple years ago, was an alright card, but right there, no. Only thing is, if that happens to be you, if you do own untapped potential as well as this, you get all four forms combined. And that's pretty cool. Then you get a 4-6 with stealth, taunt, spell damage, and poisonous. It's pretty cool for three mana. But outside of that interaction, the card is pretty bad. Fandral. Rather play the quest than Fandral. If we live back in 2016, Whispers of the Old Gods, keep him. But because we're in 2021, disenchant him. If you happen to play Yogg, or you play an OTK, let's say Maligos, for example, and you play a bad version of it, this card makes sense. Honestly, I would really just say if you play Yogg, Druid, for fun, this card is good. Outside of that, doesn't do much. When you play a deck like Maligos, in most cases, you also play Oaken Summons, where you summon a 4-cost minion from your deck, which is either Vargith or a giant taunt minion. And because this card costs 4 mana, you might summon that on accident, so you don't include it. Kiri. Pretty bad. Just play the spells instead. Don't play Kiri. Light Mother Rotting. I tried to make Taunt Druid work with Hadronox, and this is just bad. Taunt Druid is just not good. It is a fun archetype, but the card itself and Taunt Druid, at least in this expansion, as we speak, is terrible. Maybe next expansion, maybe it's going to be like Discard Warlock, where in the upcoming expansions, we get more and more cards that actually make sense, and this is then going to be a really good card, a staple legendary. But as of now, the card is garbage. Twig of the World Tree. Uh, same thing. Card is pretty bad. 
card is really, really bad. If you would like to get 10 mana crystals, then just play spells to give you mana. What you can do is, when you play Celestial Alignment, you could attack four times with Trick of the World Tree, play Celestial Alignment, so you set you and your opponent down to zero mana, and then you attack again, get back to 10 mana, and then you win. But that's a giant meme, and probably doesn't happen. Yeah, a pretty bad card. Aviana. She is one if not the worst legendary ever made, complete garbage. You can do one specific meme combo. You can make this card dormant for two turns, and then when she awakens on your own turn, you get the benefit. That the first card you play costs zero. However, it's dust, it's, it's garbage. Elise, Reno Druid is terrible. So disenchant the card. Unless you want to play Reno Druid, then keep it. But Elise is really bad. Graber, there's an achievement to summon 200 of those. Um, that was pain to do. If you play Hadronox and you play a Taunt Druid, again, with Plagma for example, and you believe in the potential of that deck being good in the future, keep the card, if not, it's dust. This is complete garbage. There are so many better ways of summoning copies. Exit is dust. Alia, gotta say, I would still keep her because I like the idea of the old Jade playstyle from five and a half years ago. However, if you play Jade Druid, all you need is Jade Idol. You make your deck empty on like turn four or so, and then you just cast Jade Idol over and over. That's a lot better than playing Aya. But if you like the nostalgia, keep Aya. Gonk OTK is terrible, but it's also fun. If you like terrible decks, keep it. If you like fun decks, keep it. If you want to win, then probably never play this card. Goro the Might Tree. Even though he buffs all your trees for the rest of the game, this card is pretty bad. If you play a tree and druid, it's basically a different version of token druid, where you play hyper aggressive and hit face over and over. In Goro at 7 mana, yeah, doesn't do that much. So again, card is fun, you can disenchant that safely. Milfurion. In any slower wild deck that is for druid, you probably play Milfurion. The card is great. Still, death knights are really good to this day, almost 4 years later. Keep the guy. Complete Dust. This is terrible. They're like basic cards. Yeah, they're le cards in the Legacy set, or in the core set at the moment, for free, that are better than, than this. This card is garbage. Scenarios. You can't disenchant them unless he's in the Legacy set, so I think this version... this... this version for me. Also Dust. The card hasn't seen play anywhere. Thing is though, because you need this card, like exactly this card from the Legacy set, I think, to play Classic Hearthstone, where you might then want to play that, then keep it. Which is also a little bit hard, because if you want to play classic Hearthstone instead of like Wild or Standard, there are like different ideas behind that. I would say though, if you play classic Hearthstone, the 2014 decks, keep the card of not disenchant that. Lucent Bark, giant giant meme deck. Heal Druid is complete garbage, but it's fun. Disenchant that. Spintergraft, terrible. The only way I made this card work was when I played Avian into Kuhn, into Cthun and Bran, and then I played Spintergraft to make like golden Cthuns. That all deal 20 damage due to Bran and them being a 10 10. But there's such a bad meme deck, don't play. Heteronox is a good meme. Again, like Plight Mother Rotting and the 5 mana guy, the tree. If you play Torn Druid and you like the idea of that, keep it. But the card is just not good anymore. The problem is at the moment, getting to 9 mana crystals is pretty hard. And then also being alive. Then you also need to have Torment instead died. And then you gotta also summon that and destroy it. And then you get the benefit. So it's basically playing the Zoth with like three extra steps. It's it's not that good. Fun to play, but not good. Gisera is like 50-50. You can always play that because it's, you get the 4-12 for 9 mana and you get like seven giant, giant dragons for free in your deck. So I think I would always keep that. Always keep that. If there's any slow druid deck that you play, you can always put this card in and it's good. Gisera is a good dragon. Yazeel. This card was only useful when I played some really bad OTK, I think with Cthulhu so. But that was it. This card is pretty bad. Aviana and Kuhn. Those two go hand in hand. You don't play Kuhn by himself, you don't play Aviana by himself. By yourself. If you like the Bird Lady and the Celestial Man, those are good for any OTK deck ever. Because you play Aviana and then you use Innovate or any effect to gain one mana back. You play Kuhn and you have 10 mana and all your minions cost one. So you can play Maligos for one mana. You can copy him using Sethwava. Play the next Maligos from your hand. Then you have three. Then you swipe face, win the game. If you like combos like that, and it can be meme combos, can be good decks, keep those two, 100%. But if you're not the fan of slow druid decks, then disenchant them. Tyrantus, for the last card in druid, has always been pretty bad. Disenchanted guaranteed. This card is just not good. Well, Hunter, the Marsh Queen. I gotta say, this is a fun meme deck, and technically not that bad. However, for the past, since it got released, this card is bad. You can disenchant that. Unseal the Vault, and I know Dexter is going to hate me for that because that is his favorite quest. Playing Quest Hunter with that is his favorite deck of all time. This card is terrible. <laughs> this card is really not good. 
Summoning 20 minions just to get this reward over here, it is not worth it. That is so slow, you can disenchant that. Now you're going to notice at this point on, we're going to have some cards happening twice, like Ace Hunter Green. Card is alright, but it just doesn't do that much. It does save your minions, but that's like for one turn. The card is meh. You can keep it, but it's not necessary. Dread Scale, pretty bad. I know Dane used to play that in Reno Hunter like two years ago, three years ago, but I mean, it deals one damage to just play anything else. The card is bad. Professor Slate, your spots are poisonous. Technically, cool effect. If you get that in any class outside of Hunter, great. If you get that in Hunter, terrible. The card doesn't do much, you can disenchant it. Shando, if you play Beast Druid, the card is garbage. If you play Beast Hunter though, this is not too bad, but it's still pretty slow. Sometimes, I have to say though, there is a good beast on your board already, something like a 9-9, and you just play this card for 3 mana and win. This is an alright card. I'm not too sure if you should really disenchant it already, but unless you play like Beast Hunter and Druid, this card is pretty mad. Tavish, I played this guy a couple times so far. Gotta say, this is pretty bad. Unless you already have a bot developed and you have a pretty good curve in your deck, so like three cards that cost six mana, five that cost five mana, whatever, and you really can play a giant beast attacking over and over, and you also have them rush or whatever, this card is pretty garbage. This card doesn't do anything. You can technically play an OTK with that, but it's really unlikely. So far, I would still wait like a week or so before I disenchant that, but it's meh at best. It's it's not that good. Zixor, that is a decent card for any hunter deck. Summoning Zixor Prime actually has an impact on the bot. You get 16-16 and Russian stats. It's pretty good. Zixor is a good card. Can't see play in most hunter decks. I would keep him. Dragon Bane. If you play an aggressive hunter deck, maybe mech hunter, maybe just even hunter, this card is really good. Every time you use a hero power, so you press a button you would press anyways, you also deal 5 damage. Hauptmaster Shaw, I'm 50-50 on that. While this card basically has the effect of the broomstick for free that gives all your minions rush, the card should be good. However, people don't play it. Maybe in a Reno Hunter deck or in a slow Hunter deck, 100% decent card to have. It's just in no deck at the moment. So if you have the card to disenchant that, you don't miss out on anything, if you know what I mean. Professor Petrusat. I always liked the guy. He looks weird. Playing a Hunter Secret and then you put a random Hunter Secret into the battlefield. That's garbage. That is really slow and really bad. Also, it starts with a Mong in his flavor text. And who doesn't like Among Us? Rifle is great, because you get two cards, or like three cards, the card itself, and then two secrets so free, and your opponent doesn't know what secret. The important part is, normally when you play a secret, it's a card that is in your deck already, so your opponent can guess, might be explosive trap, might be freezing trap, right? Might be something that it's logical to put into your deck. When you play the rifle, can be anything. Barak, I played him, he drew me three cards, that was all right. It's a three slash four standard minion, and it draws three specific cards in your deck. For that, I would just keep him. Drawing specific things in a deck is good. Alazi. When you play Quest Hunter, keep that. If you don't play Quest Hunter, which is really bad, don't play it. Knuckles. You have seen Ruffle and me playing Knuckles OTK at some point, where you give the guy Rush or you play something like Dire Frenzy on him. It's a funny OTK, but the deck is pretty bad. So if you like Knuckles OTK, keep it. If not, disenchant that. Princess. This card is terrible. You do play Play Dead for one mana. The one mana spell, trigger a friendly minion's death battle. You don't want to play a 5-mana version of Play Dead. That, that's, that's bad. Deathstalker Rexa. If you play a Reno Hunter or a Slow Hunter deck, still a good card to this day. Keep the guy. Maxima. If you play Death Battle Hunter, so like a Tonk Hunter or anything that is big, like 8-mana or bigger, this card is really good. Oblivitron. Complete garbage. I thought you can play this in Sneeds or Pilot to Shredder, something that is alright. This card is terrible. Disenchant that. Varanus. Decent card in an even deck, in a Dragon Hunter deck, or in a Reno Hunter. Keep the card. He has small arms. Acid Maw. Complete garbage. Disenchant that. Boomerster Flark. Also, pretty bad. You can play an OTK with him while you play him, Baron Riven there, and double Fain Death, and that should deal 32 damage, but that's just a giant meme. Outside of that one meme deck, card is garbage. Dino Tamer Bran. For Reno Hunter, pretty good card. Pretty good card. Keep him. Don and Show has always been bad. You can disenchant him for sure. Flax Boomzooka. Again, you play big slash death little hunter. Keep the card. If not, disenchant it. Gazrilla. Meme OTKs. Outside of the meme OTK. Also garbage. Rock de la. Spell Hunter has been bad since it came out. So if you like the idea of Spell Hunter, keep it. But outside of that, also disenchant it. Swamp King Dread. I like to protect my swamp like Shrek, however. This card is terrible. It shouldn't be that bad because it's 7 mana, it's a 9-9, and it automatically attacks what the opponent plays, but it doesn't do that much. Theroisa. If you play Malaga's Hunter, keep the card, but that's a really terrible deck, 
So disenchant that. Leo rocks. OTK. If you want to play King Crush and copy that a couple times in your hand, then play him and then charge face. Funny OTK. Outside of that, pretty bad. Katrina. If you play set Death Battle Hunter, you need Katrina. Besides that, garbage. King Crush himself, garbage. I think even in classic cars, then the card doesn't see play. Goes with Leo Rocks for OTKs. Outside of that, doesn't do much. Amorous, giant meme. Disenchant that. Unless you play for fun. And lastly, Zol'jin. I think to this day, no matter what slow hunter deck you play, whether it's Reno Hunter, Death Rattle, whatever, this card is great. Keep him for that, for slow hunter decks. And Mage, we're starting with Open the Way Gate. This card was really good about a couple months ago in Wild, where you played Quest Mage and then had an OTK, because every time you cast a spell, certain giants become minus one mana. There's Arcane Giant and there's Giant number two. For that, this was a good card. If you like the idea of meme OTKs, where you play maybe Vargeth into a bunch of spells that randomly hit face, or you would like to annoy your opponent, keep it. At the moment though, at this point in time in Wild, the card doesn't see play anymore. Sky Temple, giant meme. Keep it for fun, disenchanted if you want to have the dust, which I would like to have. Archmage Aragorn, he is garbage. Looks really good in golden, like beautiful artwork. The green, pretty. Solarian, still an alright card. You get a mini Yawk that only casts spells that target your enemy. And that's pretty good, a mage. That is pretty good. In a Reno Mage deck or a meme mage with like random cards, keep him. Not necessary for anything. Deck of Lunacy. In wild, doesn't see play. That's in short. Probably get nerfed. Evocation. Got nerfed from 1 mana to 2 mana. At the moment, doesn't see play at all. But if you play something like... But if you play something like Double Flame Waker into Sorcerer's Apprentice and you cast that for free and your hand is full of random stuff, it might be really good. The thing is, it's, it's random. If you happen to play Open the Way Gate though, Play this card with it, because that makes sense. In Battlegrounds, buy Katka, get easy triples. In reality, unless you play Conjurer's Calling, that twin spot that summons two copies of a minion, this card is alright, but it's so slow and no, I don't think that really works. If you like big spell mage though, you could still keep Katgar. He's a chat after all, but at the moment, you don't need that card at all. You can disenchant him. Pyros, pretty Phoenix, pretty animation, disenchant him. Shanvala, Mediocre at best. Problem is, you have to draw the card, and then you also have to play it with three spells, so it doesn't do much. I think this card is still going to be alright, but because I never encounter that, I'm like, eh, it's whatever. You can disenchant that. Luna! This card is great for any deck ever. This card is going to be a staple in Mage for the next, basically forever. Kazakis is a great legendary, forever basically. Like forever, for the past five and a half years. In any Reno deck, he sees play. Warden is all right. I thought he would be better. I played him a couple times. It's Frost Nova on a minion. So it's all right. Not too good, not too bad. All right card, I would keep him. Jandis is, I think she's really good. I would say keep her. Sometimes you can high roll so hard, this card wins you the game. Also for Rogue with Shadow Stuff, this card is great. The Thick Girl Ivory. I think I've not seen this card a single time. It discovers a spell and you might get a second copy. I would say you can safely disenchant that. Maligos, Aspect of Magic. For like a Reno Mage or like a Dragon Mage, this card is pretty good. The spells you get, the upgraded Mage spells, they're also really good. I would keep this card if you like slow Mage decks or Dragons. Mozaki, great card for OTKs. You can win on like turn 4 or 5, depending on how fast you play. This card is fantastic. Keep her for sure for OTKs. Ras, because spell damage shaman and mage is always going to be a thing. At least they have some cards that do have spell damage that you play in your deck. This card is always good. In the worst case, it deals one damage AOE. In the best case, it deals three, four, even five. I would keep him, but because mage at the moment is really just focused on spells and then hitting face, he doesn't see play. Aluneth used to be a staple card in Secret Mage, but now we have Sage. Thing is, if you don't have Sage, but you have the weapon, keep the weapon. If you happen to have Sage, disenchant the weapon. The only deck this ever saw play in is Secret Mage. And you have now Sage, which is better. Reno. You play a Reno deck, card is great. Keep him. Toki is Japanese for time, and I can tell you she is so bad. Disenchant Toki. Even if you like anime, Disenchant her. Tony. Nobody plays Tony at the moment outside of like classic Hearthstone, and I think even there people don't play him. Tony is only good for like meme OTKs. He is pretty slow. I wouldn't play him. Playing Leviathan has always been bad. I think this is one of like three cards that have like an effect for no duplicate decks, for Reno decks, that never still play. Genelai, due to Hero Power Mage becoming better now with like Wildfire and some other stuff that we have, this card is active fairly early on. And if you play Art Mage, it's even easier. I would say keep Genelai for hero power mage. Pocket Galaxy, really good spell to this day. If there's any card in your deck, any dragon, anything, 
You play this card and your deck is basically free. It's like a different version of Celestial Alignment, but only you get the benefit. Anomalous, never saw play, disenchant that. Hexlot Malacrest, used to see play in Reno Mage, doesn't see play there anymore because the card is too slow. You can disenchant him. I crafted this card in Golden once because he looks pretty sick, but the card is pretty bad. Syndragosa, when you played Big Spell Mage with Frostlet Shana, you hero powered the Frozen Champions. Thing is though, that that's pretty bad. You can also disenchant Sandragosa. Doesn't see play anymore. Funny card for big spell mage, but that's like three years too late, so you can also disenchant her. Ah, this is hot. If you play Arena Mage, I think even then, you just play the amazing Arena, because this card is great. I would still keep it because the card is great. It's just that it's slower than most things and doesn't see play. Caligos. I like this guy a lot. I like Caligos a lot. I might be biased here, but I think this card is always going to be good. Just because the first spell you cast is zero. And lastly, Modrash. I played Even Mage, I played Hero Power Mage, the card looks pretty cool, the animation is sick, I like him a lot. I'm not too sure, because I can't see into the future, if Hero Power Mage is going to be an archetype in the next month or so, or if it's just the meme we play at the moment because the expansion is new, and then we forget about it. So I think if we get support cards for that archetype, always keep him. I want to wait like another month or so, but if you need 400 dust at the moment and you don't play mage, then get the dust. Paladin. For Paladin, we start with making mummies. This card never sees play in the way it's intended, where you get the hero power over here. If you play OTK Paladin though, which means you play this man over here, and you summon the four horsemen, which then means you win the game if you have all four. Then you need to have that specific quest. So if you play OTK Paladin, keep that. If not, disenchant that. Galvadon is really bad. Kangor. This card doesn't see play, but if you play anything that heals, this is not too bad. Unless you play like a meme deck, like let's say Reno Paladin, this card doesn't see play. Murger. Card is alright. If you play Murlocs in Paladin, card is good. I would keep him. Finley. You play Reno Paladin, which is a really bad deck. Keep the card. If you don't, disenchant him. Risa. I thought this card would be good. This card isn't good. Even decks in Wild that play Secrets at the moment don't play Risa. Risa is bad. This card is terrible. Dragon Paladin sounds like a cool archetype or a cool deck. This card just doesn't do anything. High Priest Thackle. He used to play this card into Molten Giant. Molten Giant is free after you play that. In Reno Paladin, you can play it into Reno and you get 29 armor, right? So that's good. Outside of those two specific scenarios, card just doesn't see play. So I would say at the moment, you can safely disenchant him. Baroth. Fantastic legendary. Keep this guy 100%. Wake your flame. He was good like a couple years ago. But at the moment, doesn't do anything. Carriel. This card is pretty good. If you play Librem Paladin, turns out you have a bunch of holy spells and all their cost is reduced by one. And this deals four damage and you summon a 4-3. Great card. There was this one deck where you played Nosdomo as soon as possible and then you just played Murlocs with Tip the Scouts, for example. But that was good. For meme decks against your friends, good. For dual Paladin, so like a slow Paladin deck with giant minions, Good card, but I think those archetypes don't see any play at the moment, so... Your call on that, I think I would keep him for future meme decks with Paladin or, or slow decks, but if you play aggressive, so the good decks for Paladin, you wouldn't play this. Glass Knight, beautiful legendary, I like the art style, doesn't see play. Bolva 1, Bolva 2, to make it fast, both are garbage. Kenny Smithy, I tried to play him in wild with Mysterious Challenger, but the problem was, when I played my Challenger, and I had 5 secrets, I won the game anyways. And if I happen to have secrets in play and I play smithy, and then I summon my secrets as soldiers, I win anyways. So it's like the card doesn't do much. I wish I would like to say that you should keep him for secret paladin, but he doesn't do much. Allura was really good at 4 mana, at 5 mana, kinda random. When you play Labrum of Justice for 0 mana on her, she might cast Labrum of the 9 mana 8-8 eight, eight, Divine Shield Taunt Restore 8 health, that thing. She's alright. Just at 5 mana, slower than before. Nothraxion for odd paladin, really good. Outside of that, doesn't see play. Prince Liam, giant meme. Tarum, still a good card, and if you play even Paladin, good guy. Valinir, if you play hand buff Paladin, technically, technically, you can play this on your minions, and because of the broomstick, your minions also have rush, so you can re-equip that almost immediately after your trade. My only problem is, you have this card in your hand for multiple turns. Whenever you buff your hand, this takes a slot away, and you need to spend six mana on that. Not the biggest fan of this card. I would still disenchant that. I would say disenchant that. If you play hand buff, you play differently. Same with Donan Chow. This card is not good. Also hasn't seen play since... Yeah, since it came out. This card doesn't see play. For 7 mana, you would rather destroy the entire board than just 
changing their attack to one. Disenchant them. Kangors and Lazami. Even a Mac Paladin, this doesn't see play. Disenchant that. Liadrin, as well as Lunessa. If you play Labyrinth Paladin, great cards. Great, great cards. Keep both. If you don't play Labyrinth Paladin, they probably don't do much. Arxarg Euro. If you play pure Paladin, which is like Labyrinth Paladin but worse, she is alright. Also, the deck building restriction is too much. Unless you really want to play no neutral cards in Paladin, which is not a good deck, and you really just want to play pure, you can play her and keep her. But if you haven't played that so far, and that doesn't sound like an appealing idea to you, disenchant her. Rack the Light Lord. Cool idea. Doesn't see play. Disenchant him. Tyrion. The only time you ever play Tyrion is in Classic Hearthstone, where you should keep the card for, and when you play Zephyrus. This card doesn't see play in Standard or Wild. Turalyon. If you play Dual Paladin, good card. If you don't play Dual or Commencement, this card doesn't do much. Uther. Same with the quest in the beginning. If you play OTKs and you like to have a different way of winning, like Magathun, play him. Worse than Odd Paladin. Actually worse than most Paladin decks, so yeah. But it's an archetype. Nozari. Giant meme. Don't keep it. Shivala. Only makes sense when you play Dual Paladin, because you play a bunch of spells and this card might be free, or it's out of your deck. Or you play Holy Wrath and deal 25 damage face, where you play also High Priest Thakal, because you play Molten Giants in there. For that specific deck, or those two decks, Keep it. Outside of those decks, never saw any play. Disenchanted. Priest, my least favorite class. Why did I mention that? I'm not sure. Activate the Obelisk. People play this card in Big Priest and Wild, and I don't understand it. When you play Big Priest, you win the game by summoning big minions over and over, not by buffing your minions by plus three plus three. So you waste 400 dust that you could get if you disenchanted, which you should do, and you also get a hero power you don't need to win. So I think this card is just pretty useless. Awaken the Makers. This card is good. If you play any OTK and Priest and you want to draw your entire deck really quickly, you play Death Rattle minions like Loot Hoarder, Blood Mage Thanos, and Dead Ringer and resummon those over and over. That way you can draw the cards really fast and Amaro means you don't die. For those decks, play it and keep it. Besides meme niche decks that you probably won't play, you can disenchant this card. Kimelios. Fun idea. Never saw play. Rally Curry of Swords. The Giant Face. If you play any priest deck that is fairly slow, like Galakron Priest, Control, whatever priest, this card makes sense. In the actual priest archetypes that you see in Wild, which are Raza Priest and Big Priest, this card doesn't see play. So I think for standard still you can keep it, but in Wild this card doesn't see play. Serena. I played her once or twice, I like Harpies, she is... meh. You just summon stats and deal some damage. For 2 mana honestly against big minions, great card, but think about it this way. You could also play Shadowwood Death instead and just destroy the minion you target with this. Worst weapon ever made, 100% disenchant that. Lazur, kind of like Camellios. Card doesn't see play, it's not good. Mind Flayer, cool idea, doesn't do much. Alushia, if you don't like that your opponent has OTKs or plays cards, she is an alright card. Just by taking your opponent's hand, you can ruin the entire turn. Or the next turn, or the entire game actually. You can throw away the combo pieces, you can do so many things. This is a great card. Disciplinarian Gandling. Played that in Zoo Warlock, tried to play it in Priest. The card is so bad. The card is just not good at all. You can disenchant that. High Priest. If you play Star Aligner Priest, like the weirdest meme deck you will ever play. This card makes sense. Besides that, no. Maybe in Divine Spirit Inner Fire Priest, which I also haven't seen in, in a year. You can disenchant this for sure. Kazak is like a mage. Keep the card. Great guy. The Nameless One. I played this card a couple times. It is not good. You can disenchant the Nameless One. Cyrella. So far, decent card, honestly. Restoring health and priest happens quite often, and then you clear the enemy's bot, so good card. Keep her for most decks. Dark Inquisitor Xanash. Unless you play like Clown Priest, where you have like the Dark Moon Fair Clown, and you play this card, and then you know you corrupt the clown after, then you have a seven mana card that fit. I don't know, this card is so bad. Corrupt cards are not good. Most of them are mediocre. This card is meh. Allura. Like in Paladin, alright card. If you play to it four mana, keep her. If you never played her at 4 mana before, she doesn't do that much. If you have something like Mind Control, or you play, let's say, Spiteful Priest, where you have Mind Control and maybe free from Amber or any high cost spell, you get the spell for free, so that's good. But in any good deck, this card is not seen. Lyra, such a fun card. This is one of the best cards ever made when it comes to like having fun in the game. Ah, <sighs> it doesn't see play. If you play maybe Divine Spirit in a Fire Priest, this could be fun because it gives you something random, but no. For any good decks, she's not used. Raza. Broken Legendary, 100% keep that for Raza Priest. Vol'jin, pretty bad. For 5 mana you can just destroy a minion, don't swap around. Herald never saw play, never. Fun idea, but bad card. Lady in White, same with Herald. 
pretty bad. Zarek, pretty bad. All those three, all six mana five fives and priest, they don't see play, they're just memes. Archbishop, if you want to be really annoying, you can play something called Weasel Priest, where you play Weasel Tunneler, the one mana one one that shuffles into the enemy's deck, or Bad Luck Albatross, which shuffles two garbage minions into their deck, and then you copy their deck. And then the opponent has so much garbage, they don't have any card draw left, and you have their cards. With this card, you can easily play games that are like 40 to 60 minutes long, where you just go back and forth in a value matchup if you face somebody else that plays a slow deck. But if you want to play a good deck, you shouldn't play him. There's some bad OTK deck that you can use him for. Him by himself, he's, he's really bad. Same with Confessor Paltress. Inspire cards are garbage. She looks pretty cool, and she summons something random, but the card is not useful at all. If you play an OTK with like Mind Blast, or you target the enemy's face with like a heal effect that then becomes damage because you converted for the turn, he makes sense. You could play Big Priest with him, resummon him, and let Mind Blast face a couple times. Outside of that, doesn't see play. Soul Mirror, always going to be a good board clear. Every time, a good board clear. Keep it for that. But you can also just play Psychic Scream, which is way better. One of the worst cards ever made. Disenchant that. One of the best cards ever made for Big Priest. If you play Big Priest, keep that 100%. Gahoon, terrible. I thought this card would be alright at least. Card doesn't see play. Murozant. When you play Talkwaggle Priest, this card makes sense. Because you play Talkwaggle, swap decks, your opponent swaps back, and then you play him and you keep the enemy's deck. While your deck is empty, and that way you win. Outside of that specific instance, and that deck doesn't see play. Alright card, gotta say, it's an alright card to keep, but she doesn't see play. Talanji, really bad card, Disenchanter. Anduin, one of the best death knights ever, with Raza combined, your hero power cost zero, keep him 100%. And lastly, Xerox cloning gallery, for 9 mana you would like to do more. You could play them big priest and then summon a bot full of annoying stuff, but you can also just play anything else. This is not worth 9 mana, I wouldn't keep this card. For Rogue, Buzzer Burglary, really bad card. Even if you play Steel Rogue, you would rather play the Lifesteal weapon, the 4 mana 2-2 two, two with Lifesteal. Kingsbane, that's a really good card. Great Legendary, Point Face, win game. Crystal Core, even though it got rewarded recently, there are so many decks that are just faster. So many things that are just faster than Kevin's below. I'm not a big fan of Quest Rogue. If you like the playstyle of getting cards back to your hand over and over, keep it. But nah, not that good. Hanar, Secret Rogue is a big meme, but a funny meme. So you could play it for that, but in a good deck, at least in wild, it doesn't see play. Tanbu, Shadow Step on a minion, kinda, and it costs 1 this turn. You can Shadow Step the new Alexstrasza, the one that deals 8 damage to the enemy's face, and after you play Tenbu, and then you Shadow Step Alexstrasza, she costs 0 mana, because for the entire turn, the cost has changed to 1 mana on Alexstrasza. That's a fun OTK, but maybe in something like Nazoth or Mill Rogue, but rather play spots. Arkama Prime, card is terrible, don't play that. Edwin, nerf rewarded. In wild, this card doesn't exist, so I would say you can disenchant Edwin. Which is hard to say, it was so good in standard, and even got nerfed. But no, disenchant him. Face Collector, complete garbage. Shaku, really funny card. One of my favorite ones of all time. Doesn't see play at all. Also, you can disenchant him. Sonya, you could play this card for Quest Rogue, but outside of that, no. Apothecary. So far, this card feels alright. It's basically Xeral, which is over here. Basically the same thing. I would still keep him, because you get value twice, and you get summon a minion, so... I think he's he's good for your weapon. He's good. Lillian. This is just a good card in standard. That's what I can say. Not needed for anything, but a good card in standard. Lillian number two, the original one. She is really bad. Turns out Scaffs is just not that good. People thought this card would be broken, me included. He is not that good. This card can't see play in any rogue deck ever, so you probably should keep him, but he's not needed. Sharism. Card doesn't see play, at least in wild, pretty useless. This card gives you poisons or toxin cards. The toxin cards you get are basically lackeys, but for one mana spells, you don't even get the 1-1 one -one lackey attached to it. You don't get the body to it. Sadly, even though it's such a cool card, it's really bad. Disenchant that. If you play big or death battle rogue, keep Anka. Anka is so good. Also for a fairly good meme deck, for Mechathun Rogue, this card is really good. Dr. Krastinov. I thought this card is good. I was wrong. Maybe in standard the card is good. Maybe this in this is good in standard, but in wild, you wouldn't spend 5 mana on that. Growl the Shark. Giant meme. Don't play it. Jandis. Good card. Keep her. Warden Ivory. We had her. She was pretty useless. Haven't seen her once. Pretty bad card. Mara. Even Death Battle Rogue. This card does not see play. I think it, it just never saw play. This used to see play an odd rogue before you had a ton of card draw for free, basically, so you can disenchant that now. Waxed Red, technically infinite. In the rogue decks I've seen, this doesn't see play. I think it's a good card to keep. It's pretty bad when it comes to like good decks. Aya, when we talked about Jade Druid in the beginning, 
I mentioned that when you play Jates, you don't play her. That is true for Druid. However, in Rogue and Shaman, when you play Jates, which is a bad deck, by the way, bad archetype, you will play Aya. So if you like the idea of Jates in Shaman or Rogue, keep her. Flick, this is just a good card. I would say you can never go wrong having this card in your deck. Empress Shakzara. I thought you play Mill Rogue, shuffle a ton of copies of a single minion into your deck, and then you get the cards. Turns out that that's just not good. You can disenchant this card, guaranteed. Torquegel. If you were to play Galakrond Rogue, keep the guy. If not, then disenchant him. Trade Prince Gallywix. Great music when you play him. Really bad card. Tuck. Gotta say, one of the worst cards ever. You would say, oh, when you shuffle a card, you get a, you get a cop. No, this card is terrible. Captain Hook Tusk, same for that. If you want to summon pirates from your deck, you either play King Spain or Ordrock. You play something aggressive. You don't want to spend eight mana on a 6-3 in an aggressive deck. Tess, such a funny card for a meme rogue deck. I would really say, if you want to have fun in Hearthstone, play random mage or play random rogue with the spectral cutlass weapon. That is a ton of fun, because every single game is different. You get random cards, right? Is the card good? No, no it isn't. But is it good for memes and to have fun? You bet. Anubarak. This is also one of the worst legendaries ever made. 100% dust. Lastly, Valera. If you play something like Mill Rogue or Jade Rogue, like a slow rogue deck, card is alright. But besides those two archetypes, doesn't see play. I would still keep her if you ever liked the idea of an Azoth Rogue. And for Shaman, Corrupt the Waters. Great quest, one of the best quests ever made. This card is fantastic. Want to play any better crime minion, maybe Jade's, maybe Shadow Walk twice, which is then guaranteed to get back to your hand. This card is great. Keep it. Unite the Murlocs. Even though Murloc Shaman now got buffed and you can have multiple different Murlocs and different type of archetypes, whatever, I think this card is so bad and I don't understand why people play it. I just don't get it. When you play Murloc Shaman, you play an aggressive deck. If you play Unite the Murlocs, you waste your turn one. You have one less card in your hand, you waste one mana, and nothing happens that first turn. If you play against anybody else that plays aggressive, you just lose the bot on purpose. That doesn't make any sense. I would not play this in Murloc Shaman, this seems so bad. Firemancer though. Murloc Shaman, that's so good. You can play Toxman, make this card poisonous, everything blows up. Great card for Murlocs. Electra. How about... No, Electra is, is pretty bad. She was alright in like a Reno Shaman deck. I'm not the biggest fan of that. Like, what spell would you like to have twice? Maybe Healing Rain? Maybe you want to deal damage to the bot. Just play a different spell that deals- I don't know. This card doesn't seem useful, you know? It's alright, but not necessary. If you play Art Shaman and you summon totems with your hero power over and over, maybe you want to play that. If you play totems and shaman, you play even shaman. Instructor Fireheart. Funny card. People like it. I like her. She looks like the evil girl in The Boys Season 2. Doesn't really do much. Lady Vash, same with most primes, can make your deck better. In most cases, it doesn't do that much. I wouldn't play this card in my deck, honestly. Ghidra, in Druid I said this card is alright, it just doesn't see play. It never hurts to include this card in your deck, because you have a good minion on your board, but it's not needed for anything. Xantima, you used to play this card into Earthshock or into Hex, and that was pretty cool. Card doesn't see play, pretty bad. Brukan, if you can disenchant him, Brukan seems meh, maybe in an OTK, but so far, he seems pretty bad. Skargil, if you play Moloch Shaman, keep it. Besides that, not needed. The Fist of Rodin. You used to play this in Big Shaman, where you played like Eye of the Storm. This doesn't see play anymore. So if you like the idea of slow Shaman decks, keep it. If not, dust. Vecina, really good for even Shaman. Getting overloaded and buffing your entire board is pretty easy. So for that, keep it. If you play an aggressive Shaman deck, maybe with Tunnel Troc and 4 mana 7-7s, seven also good card, good snack. But outside of that, no. Band of Smosh. Disenchant that. Giant meme. Halazeal. Cool idea. Bad card. Inara. It's never bad to have this in an aggressive deck. So I guess you should keep it. Maybe. Honestly, I would keep it in an aggressive deck. But the artwork is so atrocious, I would rather disenchant that and never look at it again. Ras. Eh, alright card. Same for Mage. You always have a spell damage card somehow. So that way, he deals some damage. But he's not needed for anything in particular. If you play Evolve Shaman, funny card to have. It's still pretty bad. White Ice, the original Prime. This card is terrible. If you like to play Green Man, whether it's in Rogue or it's in here, play her. Grumble, only makes sense if you play Elemental Shaman with a funny OTK or you play Shadow Walk, which always goes together. Like Eviana and Kuhn go together in Druid, you have Grumble and Shadow Walk and Shaman. If you play Shadow Walk, then keep this card. Krakwa. Was once good when it was in the meta, it's bad and wild. You can disenchant that. Moravi, the worst legendary ever made, with a couple others. Complete dust. I love the guy. Disenchant him. 
Nithok, same thing. Disenchant this card. This also doesn't see play, doesn't do anything. Dust, guaranteed. Lorca below. If you played an even shaman or actually any shaman deck, this is always a good card. It deals damage, destroys something, potentially clears the entire board. Good card. Miss Caller, giant meme. He now have the paladin spell called Invigorating Something, which is that effect, but also affects your board. So disenchant that. Stormbringer, funny meme card. If you play even shaman or evolve shaman for fun, keep this. Besides that, no. Naptulon, terrible, terrible card. Should not have Overlord 3 on that. Swamp Queen, technically, Two years ago, in a control shaman deck, it saw play, but it never saw play in wild. This card is just not good. Alakir. You played in classic, I think. You don't play them wild or standard. So for that... Okay, maybe you played in standard with elementals. I wouldn't play him in wild. For wild, disenchant him. For standard, maybe keep him. Hagatha. If you play a slow shaman deck, you always play Shadow Walk and win because of that. This doesn't do much. You get random spells. Random spells are terrible for shaman. Don't keep her. Kalimos. The Avatar. It's Ang the Avatar in Hearthstone. Sadly, Elemental Shaman is not good. Play it for nostalgia, keep it for that if you like Angoro, but if you want to win, then probably don't play it. Rune Spear. The problem is you discover spells not in Standard, where the spells are good, but in Wild, where you have any spells. And most spells in Wild are bad, so Rune Spear doesn't do much. Lastly, Shadow Walk. Always keep that. One of the best legendaries ever made. Keep him and Grumble. For Warlock, we have Lakari Sacrifice. One of the worst quests ever made. This is terrible. Rather play Nero, the new legendary, and just empty your deck instead. Playing this is really bad. You will need to play Cataclysm, which then discards your head. On turn 5, you cast a spell, and after doing that, and I have all of this in golden on my EU account, I can tell you this is terrible. This quest, however, if you play any combo in Warlock, this card is good. You can also tap into, let's say, Cthune, maybe a giant 10 cost minion. Card is good for that purpose, but for good decks, doesn't see play. Solarium, one of the best spells, by far. You can play it in Dark Lair, play it in Discard. This card is fantastic. For that, keep it. Zavis, even in Discard Warlock, doesn't see play, safely disenchantable. Can read that. Great guy, you play him for the effect, not for the prime guy over here. If your cards cost one mana less, that means your one cost demons cost zero. Your cards are free. That's broken. Tamsin, for Dark Lair Warlock, really cool card. Thing is, most Shadow Spells, this being a Shadow Spell, or Power Overwhelming, they cost only one mana, and you get them twice. And that's good. So for that, keep her. Card is garbage. Disenchant that guaranteed. High Priest Jack like. Same with Zavis. Even though you have discard synergy, you don't play her. Kazak is good for Reno Warlock. Same with Mage and Priest. Keep the card for that. This card also is garbage. Disenchant her. Takan is also garbage. This card is a fun meme, but it's also garbage. Nero so far, you want to play cards that destroy things in a deck, right? So Nero is going to be active. You have to draw Nero first, or you might destroy him. This card is also bad. If you play Cube Warlock, keep Skull of the Monari for that really good card, right? Summons a giant demon from your hand every single turn for like the next six turns, then you have lethal. For that, it's good. Outside of that, eh. Deck of Chaos is complete garbage, disenchant that. Dr. Morrigan, same thing, doesn't see play anywhere. Really useless. Glinda Crowskin, this card used to be useful when you had Haiki Barra as an OTK, because cards with Echo could cost zero mana. But they nerfed Echo due to Snip Snap, and now Echo cards cost one mana, making this card useless. Disenchant her. Kaladin? Great if you top deck that against an aggressive deck. So this card destroys a minion. It's kind of like Flick for Rogue. It's alright. Not too good, not too bad. Can always keep it. Rin is so insanely slow. It is so slow you should not play this card. Disenchanted guaranteed. Take it to us. People hate that because it destroys the deck. Keep him. Really good card. Wilfred. Garbage. This is really bad. Ark Willem Farm. If you play for fun, keep the card. You get random legendaries. However, if you want to win, don't, don't play him. Please don't. Shogal. Terrible, terrible card. Godfrey. Fantastic legendary. Clears the bot. You get a 4-4. Great card for any deck in Warlock. Outside of like Zoo and whatever. Militia. I haven't seen a Soul Fragment Warlock that doesn't suck, at least in Wild. For standard, keep it. For Wild, disenchant that. Valdris. Technically alright, especially when you play the quest. In most cases, you don't want to spend 7 mana to draw cards from your deck. It's nice that your hand size increases, but I always felt like when I have this card, I already have 10 cards in my hand anyways. So I would burn something when I play him. Not the biggest fan of Valdris. I would disenchant him. Willow. When you play Cube Warlock, good card. When you play Reno Warlock, alright card. This card for Cube Warlock and maybe Reno Warlock. If you play this into Plot Twist or you just tap into a minion, this is pretty good. But in most good decks, this card doesn't see play. You could disenchant that. Giant Meme. 
also disenchant that. Zoraku. Giant meme disen- no. Here's the thing about Zoraku. People don't play to read because they don't know this card and they don't read this card. They just go face after and you get free 6 6 minions and win the next turn. You can scam your opponent out of a win if you have this. It's still a pretty bad card. Cruel. Terrible. You will need to play Reno Demon Warlock, which already sounds bad and is bad. Just play the Skull instead of Cruel. Cruel is really bad. Jaraxxus. Maybe in Classic. Outside of that, pretty bad. Malganus has always been good. Void Collar into Malganus. Keep him for sure. Godan, broken card to this day. You had a Void Collar die, you had a Void Lord die, and one Malganus. Three cards that die. Your entire board is full of giant demons. That's really good. Keep those cards. For Warrior, Fire Plumes Heart. Taunt Quest Warrior is a really decent deck. Like, it's an alright deck in Wild. You can definitely play this card to this day and still win. Complete garbage. Disenchant hack the system. Complete garbage. ETC. In most cases, though, when you play maybe Deadman's Hand Warrior, Pirate Warrior, anything aggressive, you might not play this. So if you like the idea of having an OTK with this, keep the guy, if not, kinda dust. Hobart. Never saw play. Terrible card. Anchor. Obviously, he's play great card. You play cards like Corsa Cash to get your anchor to your hand, and then you attack, and every time you attack, you get either a Risky Skipper, maybe a random pirate. The card is just good in different decks. Doesn't have to be an aggressive deck, can be any deck. Bulwark if you play Deadman's Hand or Odd Warrior. Lord Barrow is premium removal, whether that's Paladin or Warrior. Good guy, keep him for sure. Rokara, so far if you play an aggressive Warrior deck, maybe you play Pirate Warrior. This card is really good. Most of the times you have a minion on the board already, or multiple, so you can just attack and get the buff. You can hit face and get buffs. That's great. Kargath, you play a slow warrior deck, probably Deadman's Hand. Keep the guy, he gives you armor. Good, good prime card. Warm is the Wooney, complete garbage, disenchant him. Darius also, disenchant this guy. The Wolf Fury doesn't make too much sense. Dr. Krastinov also, in standard, all right, in wild, does not see any play, not that good. Ringmaster Wetley. I do like the idea of Menagerie Warrior, and you draw three cards from your deck. However, that is just that's just a meme deck. It is a meme deck, and for that, probably disenchant him. Armagadilla. When you play Taunt Warrior with the quest Fire Plume's Heart, keep Armagadilla. Besides that, it's dust. Aaron Juggernaut. Disenchant that. Same with that. This is also just a meme for an OTK. Can safely be disenchanted. Blastmaster Boom. If you play Bomb Warrior, you just like bombs. I don't know what's wrong with you, but you like the idea of that. You can play the card, but it doesn't see play in wild. Don and Show, garbage, like for the other two classes. Dr. Boom, you can still play him in Odd Warrior. I still feel like if you just hero power in Odd Warrior, instead of playing Dr. Boom, that's better against most decks. So honestly, you could disenchant him and you wouldn't miss out on much. Malkarok, it reads a random and it gives you a weapon. That's bad. Overlord Soul Fang, I have to say, because you resurrect specific minions that died this game, that is not too bad. And you also trigger their effect. In standard, all right, in wild, doesn't see play. Some would say probably dust, but you can play him in standard. Akali, garbage, disenchant that. Deathwing, not that bad, honestly. This one clears the entire bot and maybe summons a 12, 3 minion or so. Deathwing is good. Sees play in maybe Deadman's hand, but then you can also just play smaller cards that do the same thing or just cast Brawl. Not too bad to have, but not necessary for anything. Geo Scalper, disenchant that. Cut is terrible. You play Classic Hearthstone, keep Gromish. Maybe you play a meme OTK where you enrage this card and then you play the card that summons a copy of a damaged minion. Forgot the name. The epic that you played with ETC. Maybe for that. But in Wild or Standard, doesn't see play. Rod Face. I like that artwork a lot. Terrible card. Scourge Lot. The best looking Death Knight in my opinion. The problem is, when you spend 8 mana on that, it doesn't really feel like a Death Knight. Right? If you play Jaina or you play Gul'dan, your bot is full of stuff and you win the game. When you get that guy, your hero power becomes whirlwind. I can still see this card in Deadman's and Warrior, like it's not too bad in there, but I'm not too sure. I would just keep this card because it looks incredibly good, but it's not necessary. Woe Cleaver, Recruit Warrior is terrible, disenchant that. King Mosh, just play a spell instead of that. And the spell is called Slack of Wrath, I think, instead of that. Rattlegore, maybe in standard, in wild it's terrible. Don't play it. Boom Ship. They used to play Mechathun Control Warrior with Maligos and they used the card in there, but that seems really bad. Don't do that. Boom Reaver. If you play a Recruit Warrior, play that. If you don't, then disenchant that because Recruit Warrior is terrible. Same for Varian. Card is bad. Don't keep him. Hasn't seen play since it got released. Not that good of a card. And we are at Neutral Legendary, starting with Patches. This, to this day, is one of the best cards ever made. Keep in mind this card is free from your deck. So the moment you play a pirate, there's a free minion on your bot, which then means if your opponent plays one minion and you play two for the same cost, 
he already went on turn one. This card is broken to this day, even without charge. Keep this card guaranteed. Shift Azaris, giant meme, but a funny meme. Sir Finlay, if you play Grizzled Wizard to give your opponent a different hero power, then you need Finlay. If you play an aggressive deck, like let's say Druid, Token Druid, you play Pirate Warrior, maybe Paladin, and you would like to have a better hero power like Hunter or Warlock, keep Sir Finlay. Guaranteed. Staple with patches and most aggressive decks. Great card. So you have Sapiens. Also, first and only neutral weapon. Great card for that. When you play a slow deck, most of the times either like Big Priest or Arena deck, you just have a different card drawn four times. But it only sees play in slow decks. Blood Mage. This is one of the best cards ever made as well when it comes to legendaries. It's only 2 mana 1 1, but keep in mind for legendaries, if the card costs 8 mana and it's like Ragnaros, you expect it to have a cool effect and to be impactful. How often does a game end on turn 6? Very often. Having a card that costs less than 3 mana makes it so that you can actually play it, making the card a lot better. This card into file, this and any spell ever. This just to draw a card is good. Keep that, don't disenchant it. However, the card is free at the moment, so if you need 400 dust, disenchant the version of the legacy set and keep the free card from the core set. Law Walker Cho. You play for memes, keep the Cho. Card is terrible. Melhouse. You could actually play this card in Paladin because when you play the spell Call to Arms, you summon three two cost minions from your deck. But the card is really bad, D don't play it. Nat Pagel and Nat the Dark Fisher. Garbage cards, complete garbage. Disenchant both. Kalisath used to see play in Rogue or in Zoo Warlock, but at the moment in Wild, this card does not see play at all. Zeli. Zeli's evil decks are the exact same decks that they had two years ago when the card got released, and they are still not good. Disenchant Zeli. Unless you want to have like five free decks, kind of like Whispang. But it's, it's, it's like, uh, it's the exact same decks over and over. At least Whispang gets updated, Zeli doesn't. Zeli is bad. Zephyrus. Also, like Patches, one of the best cards ever made. Most of the time he reads the bot correctly. Great in most decks, in Reno decks, on decks where you draw a bunch of cards. Great guy, keep him 100%. Auction Master Berdo. When we talked about Paladin and I talked about the OTK for which you keep making mummies as well as Death Knight Uther, you also need Berdo, so you can hero power four times in a single turn. Besides OTK Paladin, this card doesn't see play. Bran, great guy, one of the best cards ever made. I feel like I said this a lot, I should stop saying that. Having better Crest Trigger twice makes it really good for many, many slow decks. Doesn't see play in aggressive decks anymore, but in most slow decks, and I think in most Reno decks, cards see play, keep him for that. Brightwing gives you a random legendary. Why not just play the legendary instead? It's dust. Edis and Fiola, the Wonder Twins. You don't really target your own minions with spells. Maybe in Libra and Paladin, but that's like, no, you wouldn't play that in there. The cards sadly don't see play. I think they're really cool though. Mookle, safely disenchant that. Not good. Moros, one of the worst cards ever. Disenchant him guaranteed. Taldorum, used to see playing Cube Warlock and maybe like Death Rattle Hunter. But since you got nine lives for Death Rattle Hunter and you have Dark Skies for Warlock, so you control the board by destroying things with spells, Taldorum doesn't see play anymore. So you can also disenchant him. Sergeant Sally, never saw play, terrible card. Can't disenchant the golden version, I think you can disenchant the normal version. If you play Mac Hunter, which nobody plays, Mac Hand Buff Paladin, which people also stop playing, then you might want to keep that for that, but eh. Besides those two decks, I think Stip Snap doesn't see play anymore. But for Mac decks, always a good card. Always a good card. Terran, you play Ag Hunter, you play Death Little Minions, this card is great. I would still keep him because technically if you play cubes, if you play axe, if you any death rattle minion, this card is great. It just doesn't see play. Think Master Overspark. Good in classic, meme and wild and standard. Disenchanted for those two formats, keep it for classic. Zola. Zola is great for any Reno deck. You get Reno back to your hand, you get Zephyrus back to your hand. For those decks, keep her. For any normal deck, play anything else. Vargeth. You play Big Priest or you play Druid, keep this card. In Big Priest, you resurrect multiple things because it casts the resurrect spell over and over. And in Druid, you play Oaken Summons, get Vargeth. And then it casts Oaken Summons again, you get the giant taunt minion for free. Keep Vargeth for that. For anything else, you don't need him. Arthas, giant meme, disenchant that. Baron Riven there. We now have him for free, so you could disenchant him. Blightmaster Zamuro. Not sure if you get this card normally as well, outside of the diamond form. Zamuro is good in hand buff paladin so far, where I just buff my hand, and this card might be like a three attack minion or a six attack minion eventually. And then he's really good, I gotta say. In hand buff paladin only makes sense against other aggressive decks. So if you play hand buff, keep him. If you play him in standard, maybe you buff him. Elise. Iconic card. Nostalgia pure. So bad at the moment. You will need to shuffle a card that then shuffles a thing that then gives you a monkey that gives you random cards. It's not good. Dust. Briss. 
if you play even hunter or dragon hunter this is actually a fine card maybe in dragon mage which is also a meme deck all right card for good decks though i think frisk doesn't see play you can't go wrong though if you play like 10 dragons in your deck and also include frisk because that's minus 20 mana in the best case ganso is such a cool guy doesn't see play disenchant him Gormok, such a bad card right now but five years ago good card grant lucky urk complete garbage Unless you want to play like Takan, the guy right here in Warlock that gives you lackeys into that. This card is so bad. Disenchant Urk. Grifter, it's a meme. Don't play it. One of the worst legendaries ever. Disenchant Celestia. <sighs> Kazak is Golem Shaper. It's an alright card in standard. In wild, it's meh. You want to play four cost cards, at least in wild in most decks. In standard, different story. So far, keep him. Kazakis is a good guy. Magtharodon, at the moment a meme, you could disenchant him safely. Maeve, also a meme. I thought this card is good. It's not. You can disenchant Maeve as well. Just play anything that silences or play Sap and Rogue, for example. Alt Murkai. Keep it for any Murloc deck. In Shaman, this card might have like 9 attack when you play it. In Paladin, this card has 9 attack when you play it. Keep it. Good guy. Prince Valinor, worst prince ever. This card sucks. This card is not good. Disenchant the prince. Sky General. Thing is, if you play quests, you probably don't play Sky General because you have something else to do. Card is okay though if you play like Quest Shaman with better crime minions. Not necessary for anything. When you play Death Rattle Hunter or Cube Warlock, you used to play Umbra back in the day, but because decks become more aggressive every single expansion and the time per game also goes down because you're down like turn 4 or 5 in most cases, Umbra doesn't do that much. Cool for slow decks, and if you want to play slow decks, keep her for that, but doesn't see playing good decks. Darkness. If you don't like Reno decks or Raza Priest, Keep the darkness. Great card to counter any Reno deck. Vorex. Terrible card. Disenchant that. Guaranteed. Whispang. Whispang is still updated and gives you all those deck recipes when you click on new deck. However, it's a wild card that gives you standard decks. Keep it for the memes. Don't play it if you want to win. Alar. Cool burp. Terrible though in reality. Barista. When you play something like Quest Shaman or Shadowwalk Shaman, maybe a Reno Mage. This is good. This is a ton of value. You could play like Barista into Zola, into another Barista, into something else and go infinite. If you play Reno decks, keep her for that. If not, dust. Barons. Safely disenchant that. Doesn't see play in anything at all. Blinktron. Giant meme, but funny meme. Captain Greenskin. All right for Kingsbane Rogue or for an aggressive Rogue deck. Also all right for Pirate Warrior. But it gets worse and worse every expansion. At this point, you don't even play the card anymore. You can also disenchant him. Dorian. You used to play him for Mechathun Warlock, but now you can just play... A couple other cards and win. Domus the Dorian has no purpose anymore. Elise. Cool card when it came out, but shuffling an Angoro pack in your deck, which you then open, you get five cards from Angoro. Doesn't do anything anymore. Ah, <sighs> ETC. Best animation in the entire game. Cool card. Disenchant him. Hugin and Stalak, because those two go together. You summon Thaddeus. That is really bad in 2021. Seven years ago, good cards. Nowadays, disenchant that. Vinger. Even a Murloc Dax doesn't see play anymore. Also, safe disenchantable. Harrison, played in Classic, Standard and Wild, doesn't see play. Keltus Art, you can do the Easter Egg and get Mr. Bigotsworth when you summon seven, six or seven cat minions where this card is on the bot. That's pretty cool. However, card is pretty bad. Giant Meme, safe disenchantable. One of the best cards ever when it comes to Legendary, same with Lothap. Lothap and Leroy can see play in any deck, whether it's a slow deck, an aggressive deck, whatever. You can play out your case with Leroy in slow decks to close out the game. You probably play him in most aggressive decks to just win the game. And Lothar is one of the best cards ever made because, you know, your opponent can't cast spells for an entire turn. That's really good. Keep both of those. Save crafts. Pokelt. When you play something like Raza Priest and you want to have a specific card in your deck, which is Raza, or you would like to have Anduin, play Pokelt. That happens. You can also play the new card we got right now, Talon, to kind of draw the highest cost minion. But just drawing all the highest cost cards, one after another, is a lot better. So for any arena deck, this card is great. For any combo deck, card is great. Nimrod's Hat. Giant meme, but funny meme. Moonfang. Terrible. If you get the card from Jandis, good. Outside of Jandis and you play it normally, not good. Nexus Champion. Gives you value, but because it's Inspire, it's really slow. Looks cool, but pretty bad. Prince Markaza, also a meme. The cool thing is you get five legendaries that didn't start in the deck. So if you have legendaries in the deck already, let's say you play 30 legendaries and you play him too, then you get only legendaries that are not in your deck already. Card is terrible though, disenchant him. Subject 9, maybe in Hunter, but in this day and age, no. This is pretty bad, and Secret Hunter is not a good deck. I would still keep it for maybe a Reno Hunter, 
but outside of that, I wouldn't play it. Vectus, if you play Cube Warlock or you play Death Battle Hunter, you can play this card in both decks. Outside of those two decks, doesn't see play. Zilliax, staple in almost every deck as long as it wasn't standard. At the moment, it doesn't see play anymore. Still a good card, don't get me wrong, you can play it in any deck and it makes sense in there, but you can just play better cards now. So if you have him, you can keep him, he is not necessary anymore. Bolf, terrible, <laughs> disenchant Bolf. Kane, maybe for classic, outside of that, dust. Emperor, great for any slow deck ever, any combo deck ever. He is such a good card, keep him for sure. Gasdor, terrible card, should cost 4 mana. Galvan, also terrible card, disenchant that. Again, same with Bark, if you play any even or odd deck, keep those cards. Hammett, for any combo deck where we'd like to go to your combo cards faster. You used to see playing Mechath and Warlock, you could still play him there, honestly. But yeah, not that important anymore. High Inquisitor, disenchant that, card is garbage. Same with Hogger, terrible. Justica Truart, this only saw play in Deadman's and Warrior, so you can get the upgraded armor up, which is then you gain four armor instead of two. Besides that, disenchant the card. Kronks, you like Gadokron, you play Kronks. Simple as that. Madame Goya, terrible, disenchant that. Maxna, Lamau, Battlegrounds cards, disenchant that. Moga, also dust. Mukla, also dust. The Beast, also dust. Skeleton Knight, disenchant that, just to make it quick. Now to the other cards. Zihi, when people played OTK decks, you played this in any slower deck, and then the OTK doesn't happen for another four turns or so. At the moment though, nobody ever plays Zihi. It's a counter card, but it doesn't count anything at the moment. Always keep Reno. Sylvanas, gotta say, if you play a Death Rattle Hunter deck, or maybe Cube Warlock, you see that those two always go together, you can keep Sylvanas, but in any other deck, even in slow decks, she just doesn't see play in wild. In standard, play her, I mean in classic, but in wild, she just doesn't see play. Black Knight, technically good, maybe in classic, standard and wild, not at all. Toshley, garbage. This card, garbage. This card, also garbage. As Alina, if you play Talkwaggle in Druid, you want to get the Talkwaggle spell back to your hand. For that, play as Alina. Besides that, no use. Baron Geddon, maybe in classic, standard and wild, doesn't see play. You could play it if you play Big Spell Mage and you have Frostlit Jaina, but besides that, no. Chef Nomi, if you already play Nero, the guy that summons that portal, the new legendary in Fortune the Barons for Warlock, you also play Nomi. But you blow up your entire deck, so nah, doesn't sound that good. Chilma, great dragon, not good. Nobody plays dragons in wild or like dragon focused decks. If you were to play one, you probably also don't play Chilma. Countess Ashma doesn't see play ever, but it draws specific cards, so too slow for seven mana. Dr. Boom in 2021, no. Hogger, that is dust, guaranteed disenchant him. Keymaster Alabaster, honestly, if you play Slow Dark, this card is not that bad, but you just get one card to your hand, or maybe two. Doesn't do much. Cargo, I tried to play this card. Whenever I play Watch Post, though, I just play the Watch Post for the Watch Post, not to get a 5 5. Technically, this summons your board full of stuff, which does remind me of Alana. Only thing is, Alana is garbage, and I haven't seen this man's once, you know? Rand Blacken, garbage, disenchant that immediately. Shuma, you like Quest Hunter? You can play this in Quest Hunter. That's it. Siamat, decent card. If you auto-complete decks, the AI just throws this into any of your decks, but this card is not good. Don't play it, not necessary for anything. Sky Captain, you play Pirate Warrior, maybe an aggressive version for Rogue? Play the Crack. Crack is good, he deals damage, he costs like one mana, good card. Curator, can be disenchanted, doesn't see play anymore, way too slow, should be five mana or so. Droxa, far too slow, this card is dust. Thor Reaper, also dust. Chromagus, doesn't see play, that is dust. Gruul, feeds Batman, also doesn't see play. Elysiana, if you play Deadman's and Warrior, this card doesn't make sense, and at eight mana, you can't play an odd Warrior. You might want to play that in like big spell mage if your deck is empty, but that is like a scenario that never happens. Elysiana is pretty useless. Twin Emperor Vecklor. I have to say, because I do like Cthun and I crafted all the Cthun cards in golden, I also crafted him. Unless you play old Cthun, which is not good, you can disenchant this card obviously. It doesn't have an effect, right? Without Cthun, this card is useless. And with Cthun, it doesn't do much. Undertaker. Good for meme decks, but not necessary for anything at all. I would honestly play this in like Death Battle Hunter, but besides that, bad card. Geppetto, great if you play any Maligos Druid, any Combo Druid, maybe any Combo deck ever, because maybe the card you would like to play is now just one mana, so that's cool. Geppetto is a good card for slow decks. Keltuzad, maybe for big decks, but then it's like, which big deck? If you play Big Rogue, besides that one specific deck, it's Dust. Tarkwaggle for Druid and for Tarkwaggle Priest, both are bad meme decks, 
Albert disenchant this card. Medivh doesn't see play anymore. It's worse than just playing Fist of Whatever in Shaman, the 4 cost legendary weapon. Arctos, sorry, terrible. Has use in one single OTK and once saw play in even Shaman, but now don't play it. Ragnaros. Surprisingly, bad card. Nobody plays Ragnaros anymore, kind of like Sylvanas. It hurts to say that you can disenchant those cards and you wouldn't miss them, but it's just true. The cards are good, they just don't belong in any deck, but you can always play them in big decks. Same with Sneets. If you play big rogue, big hunter, big priest, whatever, big and then deck, the cards are alright. They're just not necessary for anything in particular. So if you like them, keep them, but you can also disenchant them. Same with the Lich King. They all fall into that category. Boogie Monster. Garbage. Disenchant that. Alex. Honestly, in classic, good card, in wild, it doesn't see play. It's just far too slow for 9 mana. You can disenchant that. Dragon Queen Alex, however, now that it's rewarded, play her in Reno decks. It doesn't hurt. Good card for that. Baku like Gen, keep it. The 3 artifacts you get, one summons the entire board full of 3-3s, three one deals 10 damage for 10 mana, and one is called Lantern of Power that gives a minion plus 10 plus 10 for 10 mana. This card should cost like 5 mana, with the artifacts also being 5 mana. That might see play, but at 9 mana, and artifacts costing 10, it's really bad. I saw Disenchant that guaranteed. Major Domo. Really fun in a couple different OTK decks and meme decks, maybe in Rogue where you give it stealth forever, but the card is so bad. Disenchant that. Maligos for OTKs, maybe in Shaman, Rogue, Hunter, Druid, where it's good in, maybe in there. Master Oakard hasn't seen play in a couple years. You can play this card in Heteronox, though, if you play Torn Druid. Besides that, doesn't see play. Major Noggin Fogger. Pretty useless card, doesn't chant that. Fun for the memes, though. There's a single OTK, including Mac Genia Terma Plug, and you don't want to play that. Costs like 20 mana, and it's really bad. Doesn't chant that. Nefarian, that is Dust. Nosdomu, that's Dust. Onyxia, that's also Dust. Those cards are just bad. Undaster, surprisingly bad. Maybe in a big Hunter deck, but even then... You might want to play Katrina, summon a big beast on your deck, which is that, and then you summon a beast on your hand, which maybe has charge. For that, not too bad. Outside of big hunter, no. Nope. Osro, complete garbage. Sogoth, also terrible. Honestly, at 7 mana, might see play, but at 9, no. Old Yusara, way too slow. I would just play the new Yusara, so much better. Colossus of the Moon, if you play a big deck, maybe a recruit warrior. This card is not bad, so for Shaman and Warrior in big decks, Cthulhu, the new one, really good. If you play standard, if you play wild, you probably never play this card once. Old Deathwing, terrible card, disenchant that. Deathwing, the Dragon Lord. If you play the Apothecary and Rogue, which draws a death little minion from your deck, you might draw this card and then you activate the effect and summon your entire hand of dragons for free. For that, it's good. Outside of that one combo in Rogue, doesn't see play. Her car is a meme. King Fayoris is a pretty bad meme, honestly. This card is just not good. You can play this one card in Water called Dark Portal to draw this card guaranteed and reduce its cost to 5 mana, and then play the card on turn 5, and then lose. This card is just bad. Mechathune. You would like to play Mechathune Rogue or Warlock and win the game instantly? Good job. Play this card. Besides those two, doesn't see play. New Nazoth. Honestly, not the biggest fan of this. It's, it's a good card, though. Keep all the old gods, by the way. Keep all the old gods to make a shot. Nazoth, better version of the new Nazoth. Yark, memes, good memes. Yasha Raj, if you play, maybe Big Priest. Maybe a different Big deck. Anything that has like a Big and then class name. You can play Yasha Raj in there. New Yasha Raj, honestly, I don't like corrupt cards. I feel like this card is dust. That's the only new god, old god, whatever, that is dust. And with that being said, this was me speaking for 1 hour and 56 minutes, which I think I will cut down to like 150 or so after I watched all of this again. This has been pretty exhausting and I hope it gave you insight into the specific cards that they do have and whether you should keep them or should dust them, where they see play and all of that. If you have any questions for a specific card, then just rewind and go back to that point in time because there was a reason this video is so long. I hope it helped and until next time, take care.